Hi everybody, happy Tech Tip Tuesday here from Northside Lexus. I'm Melissa O'Connell, a Lexus technology specialist, and Eric Allen might be joining us. He is in a training today, so if they have a lunch break, he's gonna pop down. But I wanted to let you know a quick tip about how to adjust the brightness on your display on your Lexus vehicle. A lot of people don't realize it is adjustable. You can also adjust the camera camera view on that same screen. So it's important to know that there's a daytime mode as well as a nighttime mode. And the nighttime mode, oh, I see Eric, he's coming now. Hi, I was oh. just saying hi to everybody. How are we? We're right on time. We're doing great. Yeah, fashionably late. Fashionably Perfect on time. time. You're so Hollywood. That's right. I love it. So we are going to be learning how to adjust. I get the this display, question all the time, right? And mm -hmm. I did help two guests with this yesterday, and I thought this is exactly that is what right. We should and do. I do. I get this all the time. So. And a lot of people don't realize what I was just saying is that you have a night mode adjustment as well, mm -hmm. and you have to trigger that. So if it's not nighttime, you don't have to wait around for nighttime. We just have to make the car think it's nighttime. That's right. And I'm going to show you how to do that. Every vehicle has a display screen and typically you get to it through the menu button. Now there are going to be some vehicles that don't have a menu button so you can call us and we'll tell you how to find it. But I am going to push menu. I'm in an NX. So our version 10 display. Exactly. Notice if I don't click on setup, it immediately shows me display as a shortcut. Right. Now, if I was in a hurry and I wasn't paying attention and I just clicked down on setup, that's okay. You can still get to it. I can do the same thing. Just click on display. So this is going to pull it up in daytime mode because it's daytime. Our headlights have not come on. I can choose screen off. Mm -hmm. Now this is not going to do brightness obviously, right. but if you're on a long trip and you're on a really long stretch of road and it's nighttime and maybe your passenger's asleep and you don't want the nav screen mm -hmm. on or the radio screen on, even in night mode if you feel like it's just not working for you, you can actually click that and your it's screen gone. is blank. Now, if you click it and it goes to a picture, it just means it's been customized with an image and we can turn that off and you can call us and we'll tell you how. So I'm gonna push menu again, come back to setup, click on my display shortcut. Now, if you're in a vehicle that doesn't have this menu set up, don't panic. When you push menu, at the very top right corner is where it will say display right. and you just click on it. Now let's do the general view. So this is everything except for the backup camera view. So we'll click general. This image is going to change as I select That's our to template for showing improve different. or increase. Right. So maybe you guys can see that. Yeah. And then if I make it really dim, you'll really notice. So what I recommend is if you come up a few clicks for brightness, if you feel like it looks a little overexposed or a little blown out, you might want to crisp up the contrast by one. You don't necessarily need to do equal amounts brightness and right, contrast. Right, because then it looks real crazy. Exactly. So it could be so blown out that you might not read the font for the street names well, and we don't want that. We want this to make things better. So now we need to trigger our night mode. And I don't know if you're able to see this. Can you show our friends yeah, this sensor? I'm oh, going to put okay. this book over it. Now, when I'm in the car with a guest, I usually just put my phone over it. This small little dome is the sensor that tells your headlights when it's time to turn on. And some vehicles, it's really close up to the right. edge where the where windshield we is. Mm -hmm. So I'm just gonna cover it up. So you can cover it with a book, you can cover it with your phone. If you hold your hand on there, you have to hold it for a pretty long time. We wanna make sure our headlights are in auto, which they are. Mm -hmm. And then we wanna just give it enough time. It's really bright. There so there we go. Now it says, oh, it's nighttime. It's like magic. Look how dark that is. Mm -hmm. Now keep in mind, that this is gonna look much brighter when it actually is nighttime, right. but if we needed it, we could just bring up our brightness a bit. We don't wanna create glare at night though, so you do wanna be cautious about that. 
a big thing to consider changing, so now I'm going to push the go back button, mm -hmm. right? So on this vehicle, it's right here. So mm -hmm. I click go back. I want to look at the camera view. All right, so this is at night when I put the vehicle in reverse, what my screen will look like. Well, I may want a little bit more light. So I'm going to click that brightness up, maybe click the contrast just a bit, and then test this out at night yeah. and see if that's enough. And then one other item to show you, so we had our screen off mode. Because we're in night mode, we have this option for day mode off. If I were to select day mode off, that means it is only going to be in day mode no matter what. So I'm going to turn that. Getcha. So I want it to switch from day yeah. mode to night mode. The next thing we can do, since we just did our night mode camera, we could do our day mode camera. And let's just see, do we like that? That's looking pretty good, but maybe it's got some we'll make, good it, coloration. make it a little bit brighter. So all this is going to do is show you as an example, as you make your changes, it'll reflect that. And then I can just put it in reverse and see, do make I like sure that? Make sure it actually worked. Yeah, that looks good. Ooh, and this is the NX with the uh, panorama view I do monitor. have the panorama view monitor. That's so awesome. all kinds of fancy things and I can see my intended path with mm -hmm. my dynamic yellow lines. My blue lines are straight away. Go back to park. And then I could make more adjustments if I would like to. Now, if your computer version kicks you out, just hit menu, go back to display, and pull up your display screen again. Mm -hmm. And just make sure you're choosing between general or camera so that you are adjusting any view that you need. How's that? That was good. good. See? And now I doubt we'll ever get that question ever. again. Ever. Never. Yeah. Later. Maybe 30 yeah. minutes. Because well, it's important. It is. And I, I'm, I tell you, people come in all the time with that exact question. They really do. And so if you know someone that has this issue, send this video to them. Share it with them. Definitely. Share it anyway. Yeah. Or, and of course, on YouTube. And... On our YouTube page. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So if you're ever wondering where our videos are, if you remember, oh, wait, I saw something. They were telling me, and I can't yeah. remember. <laughs> Look in either our video archive on our Facebook page or go to our YouTube, ch YouTube channel. That one. That one. That I can't pronounce right now. And they'll, they'll be there for you. Okay, we hope you guys have an awesome Thanks Tuesday. Thanks for joining us. And we will keep teaching you more and more about, uh, especially the 2019 ES and then some of the other technology. Ooh, big exciting announcement. So if you're sticking it out and watching to the end of this video, you get a bonus. I think this is on, what it is. <laughs> on the vehicle that has Apple CarPlay, which is currently Navigation Model ES's 2019, Apple CarPlay, if you are using iOS 12, which you should be using by now on mm -hmm. your new, on your iPhones, you will have not only Google Maps, but Waze just activated. So yay for the update. What about another little leak? Which one? Go ahead. Did you hear about it? For? Android Auto. Coming. Yeah. Yeah. So we don't have a lot of details no, on yet. that yet. It wasn't supposed to get out. It's very exciting that yeah. Lexus is talking about adding Android Auto. So mm -hmm. we are trying to find out more information, which vehicles, which model year, how soon is it coming? So keep your fingers See, crossed. See, so if you stayed to the end of this video. Bonus. Double bonus. Double bonus. That's like a double rainbow. Across the sky. Wow. Woo. All right. Well, uh, tune in next week. We'll see you then. Tech Tip Tuesday. Let us know what you want to see. Yep. We'll if not, we'll make something up and yeah. we'll teach you something new. 281 569 3300. Yes. Ask for like us. us. Love we'll us. Because we love you. Thanks, Have everybody. Happy Bye. Tech Tip Tuesday.